Hey, this is Dr. Story. Are there some natural ways to help depression? In this video, I'm going to go over them with you. Now, my name is Dr. Story. I've been a chiropractor for over 23 years. I'm going to give you realistic advice based on my experience. I'm going to go over something that uh, is the first thing that you'll see on if you Google uh, natural ways to get rid of depression. And first of all, there's being depressed and then there's clinical depression. And I think that when people are suicidal, they need to see a doctor, they need to get that handled, they need to be on medication. There's many people that uh, the chemistry in their brain is just not working right and it needs to be solved chemically. So if you have a chemical problem, you need to solve it with chemicals. But there's some fascinating things. So I'm gonna go over some things. This is 10 natural depression treatments, and this is off WebMD. And I'll tell you what my thoughts are in regard to these things. The first is, it says, get a routine. Well, everybody's got a routine. It's just some people don't have a very good routine. Um, but this psychiatrist is saying that if you have a routine, it helps things. And, and personally, I have not found many of my patients who are, have depression uh, have a routine. Uh, well, they all have a routine. It's just, you know, it's sleep when I want, eat when I want. Number two is to set goals. Now, this, this is very Tony Robbins type of thing, but yeah, people that have goals uh, tend to have less depression. But my advice would be to set a goal that scares the daylights out of you. And what I mean by that is if you've never signed up for, let's say, a 5K or something of that nature, or you do 5Ks but you've always been afraid of doing a half marathon, Instead of thinking to yourself, I'm going to train for it and then sign up for it, you just sign up for it. You let the, the fear in your, in your brain actually tell you, oh my God, I'm signed up for it in two months. Then you have to figure out a way to do things. So when it comes to setting goals, the idea is you want to have fear in your brain and that eliminates the depression. Depression and fear are two different emotions that cannot exist in the brain at the same time. So, if you fear something, your body has no time to think about, well, I've never achieved what I wanted, I uh, you know, don't feel good, I, all these different things, I feel suicidal. When you are scared of something, it almost eliminates the depression. So, there you go, number two. Number three, it says exercise. Now, there's a tremendous amount of research on exercise. Now there's certain types of exercise that help depression more than others. Cardiovascular exercise actually will help depression more so than lifting weights. They've done studies where they say that cardiovascular exercise, if a person does it consistently, many times they can reduce their antidepressant medication by 50%. Some, in some people it's, it's altogether uh, gone. Um, and it says that in here. Eat healthy. Now again, this is this is kind of silly because you can take any disease and put up these natural treatments, eat healthy, have goals, exercise, that type of thing. But it actually says something in here that's fascinating about omega-3 fatty acids. And there's again a lot of research on fish oil and things of that nature using using omega-3 fatty acids in depression and finding that they can reduce their, their antidepressant medication the more fish oil they use. Number five is get more sleep. Now, I have found that uh, with patients, uh, telling them to get more sleep is like telling a child to try to sleep at Christmas time. Uh, it's just not possible. So very often people that have depression have trouble sleeping, not the other way around. So telling someone to, to try to sleep better is silly when it comes to being depressed because it's almost like telling a child who has seizures to stop shaking. It, it's one causes the other. So uh, that I would say I don't agree with trying to get better sleep. There's ways to try to get, of course, who's gonna say don't get better sleep? But the reality is I think the lack of sleep is a result of the depression rather than the other one. Take on responsibilities. This is very similar to uh, in, at Christmas time when Charlie Brown uh, was depressed and Linus said, you need involvement, or Lucy said, you need involvement. You need to be the, the guy that runs our Christmas uh, uh, parade or something like that. So yeah, the more, the more involved you are in things, the less you have time 
uh, to be repressed. Challenge negative thoughts. In your fight against depression, a lot of it is mental. And this is where a health professional can help you. A lot of times what it boils down to is, you know, when you're depressed about something, you, you have to think, what is the worst that can happen? And what if I just stop thinking that? Or what's the best that can happen? Those are things. Uh, check your doctor, check on your doctor, or ask your doctor before you use using supplements. Um, such as fish oil, folic acid, that type of thing. Um, again, I always find it funny that, that doctors are willing to prescribe medication, but if you want to take fish oil, you need to ask them. Uh, the other thing is do something new. Um, again, when you're depressed, usually you're in a rut, and what ends up happening is if you can find something new and challenging to do, very often you'll find that the brain just doesn't have time uh, for depression. And the last thing is try to have fun. Well, gee, thanks a lot. Um, I have found personally when people are, are depressed and do have clinical depression, telling them just have fun uh, doesn't seem to work. So you have to take some of these uh, pieces of advice with a grain of salt. Um, and I'm so some of this stuff, it's, it, it's almost just generic stuff that you read on the internet. But that's my take on these things. So if you have questions, let me know in the comment section below. Give me a thumbs up if you like my videos. Subscribe to the channel. If you yourself have solved depression, either through medication, counseling, or some other natural method, um, let us know in the comment section. I'd be curious to see what helps you. And share this on social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I greatly appreciate it.